The Undying Monster, 1942, directed by John Brom, starring James Ellison, Heather Angel, and Bramwell Fletcher. An investigator from Scotland Yard ventures to the British countryside to investigate the mystery behind a generations-long curse that has a family hunted by a werewolf. A word of caution, this is not a horror film, but a supernatural mystery whose plot will keep you guessing until the end. I wouldn't feature it on my channel unless it was supernatural though, so uh, spoilers for a 79 year old film I guess? The time honored tradition of building an exterior set on a soundstage is utilized here, which gives the film a very theatrical and atmospheric look. The film is loaded with a memorable ensemble cast, including the dashing investigator Robert Curtis, his hilarious assistant Kirsty, the family doctor who is hiding something, the secretive servants of the household. Ironically, the actual family members are the less interesting characters of the film, even though they're the ones whose bloodline is being hunted by a werewolf. Curtis is far more open-minded as far as the idea of a werewolf being a possible culprit, which surprised me. In mysteries like these, main characters are typically hard skeptics that'll refute anything out of the ordinary at first. They actually perform a forensic investigation in this film, which is a refreshingly scientific approach to this case. I don't know how authentic their methods are, but seeing a circa 1942 CSI investigation in a supernatural mystery film is fascinating. There are some impressive visual effects in this film, including subtle compositing to lend realism to the cliff set, and a reverse transformation that, in my opinion, outdoes Universal's iconic Wolfman. The visuals were done by Fred Serson, who would go on to work on classics like The Day the Earth Stood Still. Heather Angel wasn't given much material to work with in this film, but she would go on to voice two familiar characters in Disney classics, Mrs. Darling in Peter Pan and Alice's sister in Alice in Wonderland. It's a shame this didn't lead to a series starring the investigators. The two actors had great chemistry together, and seeing them investigate other supernatural mysteries scientifically would have been awesome. Verdict recommended. A charming movie that will leave you over the moon. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.